tell me exactly what the FBI has done. Exactly. No, don't just tell me you need more money. Um, what have you done specifically to ensure that the problems we saw in the Boston office, the New York office, some other offices around the country, where the failure to respect local law enforcement to the extent of telling them of CIs who had committed violent felonies, failure to tell to share that information occurred. Is that still occurring today? And is there a policy in the FBI to alert local and or state law enforcement where CIs have committed? You have reasonable evidence that CIs working with you have committed serious violent felonies. Thank you for the question. Um, the specifics in terms of what we've accomplished under the direction of Director Mueller asking us in 2004 to undertake a re-engineering of both our policy and our validation process and then to ask the Attorney General to provide additional guidelines to introduce into that process additional checks and balances to ensure that we are conducting this process in a manner that was consistent with expectations has put what I would describe as a series of, of layered defenses against the kind of abuses and the kind of problems that were presented in some of the cases that you referred to in your remarks. It's, it's not just a matter of periodically revisiting your processes, it's a matter of stepping outside of them and aggressively challenging them and ensuring that you're implementing procedures that are protecting against the potential for those sorts of activities to occur. I think those activities in combination with the substantial change in the nature of the relationship between federal, state, local, and tribal law enforcement partners through our partnerships in the Joint Terrorism Task Force, our partnerships in fusion centers, our partnership in gang task force has transformed the nature of the relationship that we have with our state and local partners. And I think the opportunities for the sort of incidents that you characterize to occur are substantially diminished and that uh, the policies and procedures that we have in place, specifically those with regard to activity of a source uh, that, that may have the occasion to engage in activity that is otherwise illegal are designed specifically to address the concerns that you spoke to. If, if I could just ask my question once again very simply, and that is, is there a policy in the FBI to share information with local and state law enforcement officials when you have become aware, that is the FBI, that your confidential informants have engaged in serious violent felony activity, not all criminal activity, serious violent felony activity in the jurisdiction of the local or the state authorities? It's my understanding, Congressman, that there is not a specific documented policy directly to answer your question, sir. Well, I thank you for that because you may have given me the basis for enacting our legislation to require that. Well, do you think it should be? I think it's difficult to make a generalization that will apply in every circumstance. And in fact, in some cases, our activities, uh, which are closely coordinated with a local law enforcement activity, but have equities that affect other local law enforcement uh, activities, we're being asked to uh, respect and support the equities of, the, uh, of one local law enforcement agency against another. And when I say against, I don't mean in a confrontational, but in terms of balancing the equities and the interests, the long-term interests of a particular investigation. So I don't think it would be fair or accurate for me to try and characterize a general solution, particularly if there's legislation that's under consideration. Our, our process and our approach is to, is to, is to take on board uh, criticism and observations about how we conduct our procedures and, and, to, and, and to consider whether or not we have appropriate measures in place to ensure and preserve the integrity of our process. Um, the um, gentleman's time has expired, but this is such an important point. I think we need to um, follow because the question was violent, felonious activity. Yeah, I, all, all I can say is uh, if I were still a law enforcement officer uh, in the state of California and you were to tell me that the FBI was reserving judgment as to whether you could tell me that you have CIs in my jurisdiction that are committing serious violent felonies, I would be more than offended. Yeah. Harlem streets, stay flooded in white powder, like those motherfuckers running away from the Twin Towers, gunshots rock.